<laughs> back to jail, bing, bang, boom. Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKW. I started the social media podcast. Back. YKWD podcast. YKWD's back again. Old school. Back in the day, where it all started. Before them all. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up! You're ruining this. Sorry, this is comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Hello. I don't know if anybody can hear me. He almost got it. He almost got it. Very close, Mike. We're getting closer. And you know what I say about failure, Mike? What I say about failure, it's that much closer to success. The more times you fuck it up, Mike, the better you're going to be in the long run. My like show the- might fail and die on the vine because of that, but the next show or the hyenas will prosper from your failures. Welcome, everybody, to the YKWD <laughs> Um, I am excited as fuck tonight. You know what? I'm going to stop swearing as much, first of all. I yeah. am exciting as, excited as hell as gosh, darling, Boogananans. Are you okay? Uh, that's probably racist. <laughs> racist. Uh, Boogananans. Um, you don't seem okay. <laughs> I'm all right. You have a six-year-old, Gabby, and see what happens oh. in a pandemic. Have a wife who hasn't showered in days and has gray hair and won't touch a ding ding and you know, uh, just is painting a fence because the hornets are back. Gab, you talk to me when the hornets come back. All right, Gabby okay. Brian's here. She looks like a boy from the Netherlands. Looks yeah. like a boy from the Netherlands. Yeah, you yeah. Might see her at the airport or in a window. Um, so anyways, we got Mike Calta here. I don't um, like it. I don't like that your camera's so good and you look your lighting is perfect. Your you face look looks skinny. Fuck off. Ah, uh, yeah. Face looks look skinny. Is right? that a filter? Listen, I have to no. look at them every night, so I know it's gotten skinnier. That's just a bird's eye view. You're a bird's eye view. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. yeah, you, yeah, you bird. <laughs> your bird eye view. And of course, we have uh, our guest tonight, which is, I think, is this the first time? First time what? Together on the show? No. no we were on the show years ago. Year, okay, year. When Joe was drinking. Oh. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. But this, yeah. is, the, this is the first time I've had uh, the couple, the power couple, the new power couple, the new power. I predict the next motherfucking power couple in this business. <laughs> See, this Sarah. is hurtful. I think we've been a power couple for many years. We were the first married couple to ever roast battle each other, if you recall. In the you've state. Sour, you've been a sour couple. Now, nothing? All right, listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, I'm excited. Well, I, I'm, I, you know, Gabby said, what about Sarah and Joe? And I went, no. And they went, yeah. Um, I didn't say no. I'm kidding. He does that uh, every time, though, so don't take it personally. I, anytime, she suggests, anytime she suggests anybody, I go, no. And it's kind of my job to suggest people. So, and, then, um, and, then I go, and then I go, of course. It sounds great. Um, <laughs> I'm let's, start, let's start with your hair. What did you do with your hair? This I is very disappointing. Oh, not sorry. you. Sorry. Go. This is very disappointing to somebody who can't do anything with his hair to see somebody that has a full head of hair shave it down. Well, it's coming back. Well, first and, first and foremost, it was getting too long. I don't like it long. It gets wavy and curly. It was too much. It's too much. I thought, <laughs> I want my hair to look like Sarah's when it grows out. You see like Gary Gullman and fucking, uh, you know, Eddie Vedder. We all want to look like Gary Gullman. And we all want to look like Sarah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would love to have Sarah's hair. That'd be fun. But, so I, it Sarah was has sexy long. hair for a woman, and she also has uh, bass player hair for a man. 
I do. I was thinking I look like Sean Penn from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I <know him. laughs> um, but I wanted a mohawk because I, I had a mohawk before. I liked the Travis Bickle mohawk, Joe Strummer, and we went for it. And I'm not pointing fingers or naming names, but not everyone is good at even a simple haircut. But can I say something though, dude, you've been in quarantine with just Sarah for over a month. So who else could that be? It's me. Two months. It was Sarah. And I <laughs> finished. And I never shaved a head before. It, it was I don't all... even like shaving my legs. No, she doesn't. Lucky like, you. Or her feet. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a big one too. <laughs> I'm turning in. What? You shave your feet? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like, well, I'm slowly just turning into a guy. It's hot. It's a dream come true. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> it's nice when your wife turns into a guy because you can be like, oh, no, I have to fuck a guy. <laughs> <laughs> my, wife looks a guy. Like, my wife looks like Corella DeVille. She's just got white streaks ripping through the black hair. My wife, looks, my wife looks yeah, like she, she can control weather. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a Jew? <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks like Gullman. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, well, so, now, so how long have you guys been quarantined together? Like how and how much have you really gone out? It's two months now. Is it seven weeks? The thirteenth, I think, is when Sarah I, got home. I saw you while you went for a walk. I saw you with your masks on. How often do you go out? Once or twice a day. We go for oh, yeah? a long walk every day and we've been going for a run almost every day. We go for like a nice long juicy walk. A juicy walk? Yeah. Yeah. Like a f five miles. Yeah. Wow. A it's juicy nice. walk. That's a re that's a long fucking walk. What do you walk to? We walked to the tip of Roosevelt Island the other day. That was nice. Just the tip. Great album. Hey, there um, you go. <laughs> but yeah, we walk all over Astoria. We've walked up and down every block now, and we've come be very grateful for our neighborhood. We really like the, uh, you know. We have favorite streets now. Yeah, it's really pretty, pretty gay. But you got to make. Say, uh, this you know. this brings this brings up something I wanted to talk about because I went for my first walk on Saturday. Not a walk. We went on a hike because we in live his up life, here. his first walk of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. I get it. Uh, I, I see what you're doing. I like it. Make jokes. Anyways, yeah, but I don't like it when I look back and the person that's making them is f fat too. <laughs> Listen. It's all friendly. It's like when black people use the N-word on each other. <laughs> I, uh, I, we went on a hike up in this. There's a nature preserve up here. And I was shocked how many people were not wearing masks. There was a guy running down the path, no man, <laughs> breathing, heaving, barrel chested, rich cock sucking, fucking Miata driving bitch, just flying down the path, <laughs> spitting shit out. I got my kid, my wife, my Bernadoodle, and I'm like, dude, you couldn't fucking put a mask on. You couldn't. And a lot of people, and it was mostly young people, were just walking around with no masks. This is, this is what I say, and I was talking to a, a friend about this. Just wear the mask, because even if you think it's stupid or we don't need a mask, that's yes. what we're doing. That's yes. what they told us to do. That's what we're doing. We're all doing that. And it does say on all the signs in New York, wearing a mask when social distancing is not possible. So if you're alone in the woods, you can just have it underneath, you know, and then when someone's coming, you throw it up there. That's what I do. That's yeah. what we did. We were in the woods. Someone, we'd see somebody, we'd pull it up. Oh, way to make them feel awful about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they look, man, they, they had a mask on and they did the same thing. Well, I don't give a shit. You, you do it like, oh, they're coming. Yeah, I said, yeah. I'd be like, pull your mask up. Pull, pull your mask up. Absolutely. Wear it every, every time we saw somebody, I was like, pull your mask up. And look, Max hated it because it was, and look, I could hardly breathe. You know, going up a hill with my mouth covered. That's the last thing my heart needs. But, um, you know, it was, uh, y you should do it because that's what's going to stop the fucking virus. And it's the fucking rule. Like, I think we should be allowed, if it were up to me, you'd be allowed to just fuck anyone you wanted, even if they didn't want to. But there's a rule against it, so I don't do it. You know what I mean? Thank you for that. Thank you for obeying the rules. 
Right. Yeah. yeah. That, it's that about rule, law. Who made that rule up? I don't, I don't know. know. It's Women. weird. Fucking some broad. <laughs> what constitutes um, a, what makes a favorite street? Some K woman. She's like, this sucks. No, what um, makes you go? What makes you what you like uh, streets more than other streets? They're so, gardens. Oh, pretty. I just pretty. I basically roast every house I walk by. <laughs> like three different times, Sarah's like, "Look at this fucking fence. It's painted. It doesn't even match the door. What a bunch of losers!" And then you just see the people are sitting there eating crackers outside. Single <laughs> 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 <a> beer drop. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't want to walk around. I I don't mind the woods because people are at six feet pretty much all the time. But and I couldn't imagine walking the streets with people everywhere. It would scare the shit out of me right now. Well, here's the other thing. I think nobody's people aren't getting sick from walking by each other. It's I think it's extended time, no masks, spending time next to each other, whatever. Like I don't think anyone's gotten sick because they walked past each other in a millisecond, unless maybe they coughed directly onto their tits or whatever. But people do that. I was at the grocery store the other day. There's a lady in the bread line and she was like maybe 50. She's wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask. I got to get a loaf of bread. So I walked past her and she like went up against the thing and did a big like... <laughs> Where I'm like, I'm not waiting for you to finish in the aisle. We can walk past each other. It's fucking fine. I think, I think a lot of this might have happened on planes. Think about how many planes are in the air for, for December, January. People with it on the plane, breathing the same air, coughing, sneezing, farting. And then they get off and they bring it home and then they keep spreading it that way. And subways. And, don't ever end me. All right? My plane <laughs> theory hasn't been proven. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever me. Don't ever, don't ever with those witch fingers. Put them down. <laughs> put, no, you put your chubby fingers down. Put, put my, I have regular normal human fingers. That is you not have, true, and everyone your, knows that. Your fingers can cause invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're the white Arsenio with that big, long finger. <laughs> yeah. I wish my dick was as long as your finger. <laughs> <laughs> me too. So does yeah. I. You got me. <laughs> it's, it's as thin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, I do think, I think the subway is huge. I read a stat. I didn't read a stat. I don't know why I said that. I watched the stat on television. But <laughs> yesterday, 175,000 people flew in America, which seems like a lot. The year before, 2.5 million on the same day. Oh, yeah. So that didn't I really think, have anything if, to do with it. You know anything. what they're saying, too, is when you're going to fly, it's going to be a motherfucker because you're going to have to, getting on the plane, getting through security is going to be a nightmare. Again. It's awful. It's going to be three hours to get on your flight. Yeah. I think we should quit. I think this is a good way to make a living. We sit here and we bullshit. We call each How other fat. How great if we got to quit stand-up and just do it when it came back? Just go back. We're already, Imagine that. We'd be like newcomers in five years. People would forget about us. Then we'd roll in with a solid fucking slam an hour. We'd be like Bob Marley. I remember when Bob Marley first came into comedy, he did a guest spot at Colon's. And he murdered. And we were like, who's the new guy? Yeah, he'd been doing it for fucking 10 years up in Maine. Then he came down and fucking pork and a beans, pork and a beans, pork and a beans, and fucking murdered. You know? That's do, you think Bob, do you think Bob Marley will write something for Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a real delay. <laughs> if, you, if you got called tomorrow, would you do a gig next weekend? It depends on where it is. I, I'm, I mean, first of all, I'm enjoying not doing gigs. I, bet. I don't know. Uh, I would like I, the money. I'm the happiest person staying home. I love this. I mean, I'm still going to work, but the rest of it, I'm good staying home all day. I don't care. I don't have to leave for anything. Yeah, I don't know. When's, when's your next gig on the books, Bobby? That's like, they're like, we're doing it. Because I'm supposed to be in Tampa in August and they're promoting it. I had to cancel. No. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I have I had a private function in June or July that I hope is not going to be canceled because I it's great money. It's forty five minutes of work and I am fucking I I I need I just want it. So I hope they don't care. And I'm hoping because it's a bunch of rich people. So I'm hoping they're just like fuck, you know what I mean? They're just like they They've already been vaccinated. Yeah, they've been vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> I come in, they vaccinate me and my family. Uh, <laughs> hey, what uh, happened to that video? Did you see that video? Not to go off topic here, but did you see that video? Fake. Where it was like it was like a hot mic. It's fake. Where the guy said everyone here is vaccinated. Yeah. That was strange, wasn't it? 
it was great, but it was fake. And if you look at it, you could see the guy comes out of the room, he talks, and then he's completely off mic for the rest of the thing. You don't see his lips. You can't see anything. There's no, there's no way to see the audio tied to it. It's fake. Uh, it's good, though. And then they go, it's on C-SPAN, and then they go right to the host, and the host just overlooked it totally. She'd be like, that's totally fake. Wow. Like it's the like monkey a- riding the motorcycle today. Did you see that? Is that fake? So we analyzed that for a good 20 minutes today. At one point, when the monkey jumps up and grabs the girl, you could see at the line of the bench at the bottom, there's a rope. So evidently, there was a, a rope tied around the monkey. And the monkey, they're pulling the rope while it's got the baby. Because if you see the monkey running away... Mike, pull that up. It, the, the feet are no longer on the ground, and yet the monkey's still flying down the yeah. block. So the monkey had to have a rope tied around it. I'm impressed that somebody just created that as a storyline. It was pretty good. It was, we watched it a bunch of times. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. It's fucking wild. Wait, wait, hey, 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 mask, mask, mask. Now watch right there. You see no more feet. No. <laughs> monkey grabbed the baby. The monkey grabbed the baby, but then when it started running away with the baby, somebody was pulling the monkey. I thought that the baby owed the monkey a lot of money. That's why he did it. <laughs> Listen, it somebody's sense. clearly training monkeys to ride motorcycles. That you can't fake. And we Did they and ride we, bikes? We, we watch a bunch of videos after that of monkeys riding motorcycles. Monkeys know how to fucking ride motorcycles. If this was the 60s, there'd be a lot of inappropriate jokes right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or the 90s. Just put it behind a paywall. <laughs> or 90s. 2012. <laughs> what the... <laughs> If this was Legion of Skanks, <laughs> <laughs> we'd make a lot of inappropriate jokes. So I'm glad it's not. Um, I look fantastic. Uh, you're, glow- you're positively glowing. I am. I'm fucking glowing. It was a hard day today, man. You know, I. it, it must be nice for you two just to be a couple. I look at you guys, no kids. You don't have a dog, right? You don't have any. No. no. You guys are so free right now. You're so free. You could literally just say, fuck it, and go move to Montana for a couple of years. And you, I mean, you're so free and happy to take walks, naps, eat when you want, stay up as late as you want, wake up when you want. I mean, make love when you want. Yeah. When you have, when you have, a, when you have a child, it, this, the, this, and you don't want to fuck it up, it's so much work. Yep. <laughs> Fucked everything up. Uh, oh, that was great. See, I told you he's funny, Bob. <laughs> you keep texting me saying he stinks. He's bringing the show down. Dude, I did not hear him. The other Mike. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, yeah. He's not great. <laughs> I, yeah, man. I look at you two and I see – because. I just see you guys having such a relaxing drinking tea together and just fucking Sarah's over here doing stuff and you're over there doing your, and then you do stuff together. It's like, fuck. That's what you see. I don't see that when I look at them. What do you see? (laughs) I see sadness. I see, no, not sadness, but I see Sarah's like, I can't take him anymore. She's, (laughs) she needs more. More, yeah. or less. <laughs> more. <laughs> like, I think less. Joe, no, Joe is no longer sacrificing her. Sacri- what is the word I'm looking for? Sacrificing. Yeah, no, he's no longer fulfilling her needs. Uh, as a man. Yeah, but what, I think once you're past like six months of marriage, you don't have to fulfill each other's needs. Just yeah. true. You're screwed now. You already got the contract. Yeah, you just gotta sleep near each other and stuff. But no, we're having a nice time. It's pretty. Wait, good. Do you sleep together? Yeah, we spoon and everything. I sleep upstairs during the week, which sounds awful, but it's really fantastic. It sounds like you're projecting when you describe us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's typical of most married couples, I would think. I, I actually like my wife a lot. And, uh, like? and I think she likes me. Love. <laughs> They're good friends. They're really you can, good you friends. Can easily you love, cousins? <laughs> you can love your wife but not like her. <laughs> the fuck i like my wife and i think she likes me your Who wife your loves cousins? you but she doesn't like you my wife fucking listen my my that's what i'm saying my wife loves me but she does not like me a lot right right, right. there's a big difference today let me tell you something about let me say something to my wife today I, we have a dog i i love my dog 
but I, I, we probably shouldn't have got it. Um, but I love doodles, but it's a lot of responsibility that I didn't need. Let me make sure she's not around. Great. The dog? Um, you think the dog's going to hear you? No, the broad. Hi, man. Um, so, I, we, I, I, you know, in the backyard, the dog dug a lot of holes in the backyard, a bunch of fucking holes. I had a guy come over and I said, you know, we got an electric collar and I put it on. And I was like, I'm not doing this. We all agreed. We're not doing it. We're just fuck it. We're not doing the electric collar. It's too fucking bad. So I had a guy come over, retail the whole backyard, reseed it. I said to my wife, Dawn, please, please don't let the dog for the next couple of weeks dig in the backyard. If you're going to let the go out with the dog, you have to have her on a leash. You can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dawn, please, please don't let the dog dig in the backyard. You have to. Have, okay, I got it. Great. So I go out this morning. I look in the grass and it looks like, you ever see in Vietnam where they had holes, but they put leaves over the holes to cover it up where people would fall in? Like a bun's eye yeah. crap. Yeah. The dog dug two fucking holes in the backyard. This chick goes and gets dirt and grass <laughs> and puts it on top of the hole <laughs> to cover it up. I go, It'd only I look, be better I, if you fell in it. <laughs> And I literally, I literally had the argument with, I was on the phone with Quinn. I go, here's the argument. I'm going to go in and say that. She's going to go, yeah, well, I was, I was doing this, this, and this, so that's why. So if you didn't want me to do this, this, and this for you, then maybe you should watch the dog. Or, and I walked in, and, I had, and it was exact fucking exactly what I said. She, it, was, it wasn't her fault. She, didn't, she was doing something for me. And that's why she let the dog. It was either the dog dug a hole or I, I didn't get something. You know what's fucked up is that normally you can go, well, you know what? I'm making the fucking money in this house, but now you can't even have that. <laughs> I'm depending on that bitch's 1200. Listen. <laughs> oh, for the, th the package? Stimulus. Did you guys I get would, stimulated? I didn't get, I didn't get shit. I got mine today. How do you get it? Your dad's rich. He should yeah, I applied. Loaded. <laughs> That's horseshit. I applied. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. That's bogus, man. Hey. Uh, what was listen, that? That was, that was a nose. Um, no. Oh, juice? <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody have awesome teacups? I want a fucking nice teacup. I got a nice one. This is from Madison. It says, I like it here. Yeah, well, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. You have so, you're the fucking king of cups, Bobby. Every time we do a show, you drink it from four different fucking cups. You got water over here. You got tea over here. What about you that How many cup? cups you drank from a three-day-old cup one time? What about that uh -huh. cup? I right, know. One day, we were sitting there doing the podcast, and I fucking I took a sip, and it was from coffee from two days ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tasted, like, tasted like I sipped on my grandmother's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I did that with my own cum a couple of days ago. Oh. <laughs> it was in a cup? It was in a cup. We, I make them come in a cup. Yeah. Why? Hot. For fun. For fun. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Switch it up. What more? <laughs> <laughs> what weird sex shit have you guys tried in the quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, you did a weird, gross little laugh after that. I can't get my fucking thing back up because Rich Voss just called me. Mike, help. <laughs> uh, you're doing a lot of name dropping. <laughs> you're doing a lot of 1998 name dropping. <laughs> you can't see the Zoom on your iPhone? Oh, there I am. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, Rich Voss called me. I, I don't know why he's calling me. You know why. why? Who's on your show tonight? I want to be on your show. Yeah. Show everybody my lawn. I mean, have you had a stupid show? Yeah. I am. Um, Fucking green thumb Voss is bugging me. <laughs> he, he thinks it's like, he thinks he's actually giving information. He's just telling us how great he is again. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. And no one's buying it. <laughs> I had a, I I'm tell you. Now? <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's not going to work. But Mike said, no one's <laughs> buying it. And I said, what are we talking about? His CD now? <laughs> the, fact that he has C the fact that he has CDs, <laughs> it, 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 it's mind boggling to me that he thinks that somebody has a CD player at their house and they're going home and putting a CD player. And I know you probably do because you guys are fucking retro hipsters from Queens. <laughs> we don't have a CD player. We have a record player. No, you... <laughs> 
But we don't have CDs. We're not assholes. Oh, we I have a, re- I, a, a record player. I have one too. A record player is cool. A CD player is just stupid. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. <laughs> there is something sad about it. Yeah. yeah. Or having like a case logic. That's depressing. <laughs> What's a case logic? One of those big <laughs> traffic <laughs> keepers for CDs. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny remember that you had to have it in your car remember you yeah. get in the car to be one button got some, somebody's job to open it and go through them <laughs> yeah yeah nirvana boom well people talk about texting while driving i had that thing it was like yeah, an encyclopedia like, like this and i'd be flipping <laughs> through and pulling them out and and then also you had those cds that just had one song that you like so i'd do that for like one song and be like i gotta hear this other i would do that like 14 <laughs> times on the drive you love the new Pearl Jam album? I like it very much. Yeah, we just bought. It was like a visual. They released a visual arts bullshit thing that can, I can't not buy it. But it's good. I think it's better than the last couple. It, did you buy the visual thing? I bought the visual thing. I bought the record. I mean, I'm a real fucking dude. I'm 11 years old still. I bought yeah. the record, the video. Gabby's taking her headphones off. We got to change the topic. <laughs> I just bought. <laughs> do you see that fanatic thing that they're doing to raise money? They um, Eddie Vedder's got a thing where. They'll take you to the show, sound check, and then you'll actually be up there with him singing a song. I'm like a grand into it already, trying to buy the fucking thing. What? I, I didn't hear about that. I'd like to do that. It's one of those like celebrity fanatics things where you can you know buy like a, a raffle ticket for it. Bob, you should do that. Have a kid come in, cut your cigars, and light them for you. <laughs> <laughs> Raise like fifteen bucks for somebody. Mo Shardy does that. Like a, like, a, like a Gunga Din. Gunga Din. You don't know what a Gunga Din is. Now, the little Indian boy you can hire for like fucking seven million rupees, which is 50 cents. How no, do you know that? I'm not saying uh, fuck a kid. I'm saying you get somebody. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's actually a little more expensive. That's 75 cents. <laughs> I don't think that's right. What, fucking a kid? <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't think you're, Good. I don't think your definition of a Gunga Din I can absolutely look it up there. Is Gunga it like a ward? Look no, it up, it, Gunga Cheeks. It's a character from a Rudyard Kipling uh, poem. Rudyard Kipling, yes. Rudyard, yeah. Rudyard, uh, say it, Rud. Rudyard <laughs> Kipling, oh, Rud, Rud, say Rud. The guy who wrote Jungle Book. <laughs> say, it, say Rud. You mean the guy got I'm not going to be happy until you right? say it. Rudyard Rud. Kipling. Rud. Rudyard Kipling. There you go. <laughs> big, I, I genuinely, thanks, Dad. I genuinely think... Mushy Mike does not enjoy this show. We say that every night. Sometimes I think he hates it. He loves the hyenas. He the, the hyenas. He loves them. He loves the, Chrissy and Giannis. Those two fucking hoot nannies. Those two. Joe those, had a problem with them right recently. Why? One of them is very funny. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 look at Sarah. Cause Sarah knows the juicy details. We'll never know. <laughs> Reveling. She knows, she knows the pillow shit. No, <laughs> no, just, it's okay. I agree with you. He is like that, but don't worry about it. No, I should worry. But no, he's listen, you know, you like, you know, you like, he's a good, guy. the other one, just let him go. <laughs> No, You're the cup. <laughs> what's fun is it's because we're both comics yeah. that ends and then it's like okay my turn and i'm like uh-huh yeah no totally she is a <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. What, what happened what happened with Giannis? oh nothing happened with Giannis. i mean i was just a zing the thing that happened with them was they took my thing and were like this is hey everyone write hey bert on his wall so i got fucking nine thousand people writing hey bert on my why? fucking page. Well, and why do they do that? They're doing it on the reviews of my podcast. But I shouldn't talk about it here because they'll start doing it again. Wait, what? Wait, what, what do they do? Oh, hey they, they call another comic, Hey Bert, because he looks like Bert James Mattern. And so when you posted your, your meme, they all latched onto it. Which Bert, though? Reynolds or no, Bert, Bert and Ernie? Ernie? Bert and Ernie. Kreischer. Okay. Um, so. But no, I didn't have a problem. It was just like a thing of like, dude, what the fuck? You got look how look how mush lights up when he starts talking to hyenas. <laughs> Damn, he was Glowing. like, ask him what we did on the show yesterday. No clue. What we do yesterday, Mike? Uh, yelled at me. <laughs> no, we didn't. That's, that's that, not fair because that's every episode. And that was the joke. Not, <laughs> we did not yell at you. I know you didn't yell at me. Uh, you asked me you? which show I liked better like, yesterday. <laughs> Nobody has yelled at you in, in a week. I think a week and a half, maybe. 
since uh, Bobby yeah. started writing down his affirmations yeah. and reading them daily, he has not yelled at you. That's right. Since I started writing my affirmations down. No, that's uh, where we interviewed I, uh, Jared Freed, and we, you asked me which show I prefer to be on. <laughs> and you said which one? Uh, you asked me which show was more fun, and I said uh, recently it had been this one. Because, mm-hmm. And it was, uh, we had a guy, we had those guys jerk off on camera. So. What? That's why it was what? better. <laughs> which show is it? A- why that wasn't can, I on that episode? The, the sat, oh, you, you didn't know what happened Saturday on Carlton and Kelly? <laughs> you no, can be no. after this is over if you'd like. <laughs> Speaking, you should watch Strangers on a Lake. Strangers by the Lake. You guys ever hear of that movie? No. We watched it. It's basically a gay porn that has an amazing plot line. <laughs> <laughs> Best gay porn of all time. <laughs> we, didn't, we had no idea. We started watching it, and it's just like full-on dicks coming and like hand jobs in the woods, and then, then there's a murder later. It's like hard later. sex. Like <laughs> guys fucking like that. Yeah. Ugh. And they show penetration, lips on a dick. They show like a hard <laughs> cock blowing a load. And I bought the poster because the movie was so good. Can we show him the poster? Sarah, feel, the feel his pants and see if he's aroused oh, right now. I got the photo, Sarah. Oh, okay. I got the photo. I'll show you. Joe is so excited. Joe, just reenact it right now. There's the poster. You can kind of see there. Oh, it's but kind of Wes Anderson almost. I didn't realize you look closer. And they have little guys. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy's fucking dog is that? He's got like a 10 inch muddy. <laughs> but the guy in the back's blowing a guy. There we oh, go. There go. <laughs> Look at the guy way in the back. See the yeah. guy? Yeah. The yeah. He's, 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 he's going down on a guy's taint. You got to watch the movie because these are all scenes from the movie and it's real hot, you know? But the plot is amazing and, and it's a great movie. And great acting. Where's that beach? Oh, they're not acting. It's in, it's in <laughs> It's a French film. Where, it's where? Fire Island. <laughs> it's in my dreams is where it is. I hope they may remake it in America. So does like Joe. More- <laughs> they, would, would they redo it at, like, uh, at Canopy Lake? <laughs> <laughs> and it's all kids. She's Just rednecks. High. Just gay rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a hell of a film. We got the poster. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I was like... Watching- what are you watching. excited about? This is throwing me off. <laughs> well, the gay I love, sex. I love, uh, yeah, there guys. it is. Look at that guy with the purple shirt there. Going it off. Like, it looks like Giannis going down on Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's a history it's hyena your- biopic. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on your wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we love, fags going at it. <laughs> we love posters. We love movie posters. We love foreign films. It was a great movie. It was a cool poster. So we, we got it. And I always wanted to have a guy's dick out and someone blowing another guy. And I figure cartoon doesn't, it's not too weird. What do you mean you always wanted that? I just like guys blowing <laughs> each other. <laughs> a little boy. <laughs> Seems like that'd be easier to get if you really wanted it. <laughs> Yeah, I might. I mean, after this, I think this is putting a lot of things in perspective, you know? So I think once we get out, if we get out, I might see if someone will suck my dick. Who? What kind of guy would you like? Well, Bob has great <laughs> lips. <laughs> Can I just say something? You live in Queens. You can literally walk out your door, wink at the first guy, and suck his dick near a trash can next door. <laughs> <laughs> what are you um, crazy? Dude, you can get blown in bushes in Central Park. Oh, in the rambles. You can literally go, Sarah, I'll be right back. Do you want a slushy? Go through a bush, <laughs> get a dick suck, suck a dick, come back with a slushy in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. That's why New York's great. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> but that movie makes it seem like being gay is like unbelievable because they're crude they're all just and then there's a couple scenes where there's a guy he's like a voyeur and he's like jerking off and then the guy will come up from the dick and be like hey beat it dude get out of here not beat it but he'll say get out of here. <laughs> stop eating it and leave <laughs> it so really we fun. we have yeah, this I mean, area um on my way to work that i pass every morning it's mangroves it's big mangrove trees and it's right on the access to the water you mean, and, is that park or pass it's a pass no do you park or do you pass it oh i pass it i drive by it and uh very slowly (laughs) (laughs) with your dick out i like to look and see what's around uh but it on one side is like a boat ramp where cars go in on the other side is where gay guys go into the bushes and just do shit in the bushes 
And I always just, just I always wanted to park and go in there because I imagine once you get through the mangroves, it's just like all fucking skittles and rainbows on the other side. But there, every I mean, I go to work at four o'clock in the morning. And there's always cars there. Always, <laughs> we're, always. Next time I'm in Tampa, me and you are fucking, fucking. Where? <laughs> no. I was hoping that was good. <laughs> Next time I'm in Tampa, go fuck yourself, Gabby. I'm gonna Next take Joe I'm there. I'm gonna take Joe there in August. Next time, we, I want, next time we come to Tampa, we're going to go pull over and walk through those mangroves. <laughs> it's, it's your challenge. Cupcakes, it's cupcakes and candles. It's yeah. a tough mutter. What, what if it was a little town, this little quaint town? <laughs> oh, yeah. the the it's like a little gay village. Yeah, there's no. little free scooters and bikes. And- <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome. You made it. <laughs> Congrats. You made it. We've been sending you messages for years. Every once in a while, I'll drive home and I'll see the cops there. And I'll drive by and there'll just be some fat naked guy there talking to the cops. <gasps> Fully naked? Fully naked. Wow. Gotcha brings the cops. Wow. It's yeah. so taxing to be, to, to be a gay guy. You know what I mean? It must be like just really hard to... Because you can fuck. You can, like, the, the option to meet a chick in a bush is very slim mm. for a regular why, guy. Yeah, they're yeah. crazy. For a gay guy, there's spots, cruising spots you can Messy. go to and, and meet a guy and get in it. So it's not like it's, it's, I don't think it's a dirty or fucked up thing. It's just something that's available to them in their sexuality. And why wouldn't you do it? If there was a spot behind Best Buy or up the street where I could just <laughs> go meet a chick and she sucks my nuts and I eat her fucking box for a little bit and c- come home and have dinner, I'd do it. It would be hard not to do it. Right. Now, now, put, so, now put both of the sides of that equation doing the same thing. Both dirty fucks. It works out perfect. It does, That's but it must be taxing because it, to get arrested, to, it's so, it must be so scary to have that option. It must home. be exhilarating. No, it is. It's exhilarating, but you're home. Oh, I really want to be. And then you're like, I could go go down the street and, you know, go sit on a bench in the dark. And the and then it's like the cops might come. It's like that's like, that's like a frantic. You that's know? why it's, I think it's harder to stay loyal in a gay male relationship because you can just get your dick sucked outside. Like I, I could I could walk for miles. No one's blowing me. Not a woman. Yes. I think they have more open relationships than straight couples do. Yeah, they have to because yeah. they all want to get laid. Because that's the thing. Both parties are dudes. Like if Sarah had dude brain, we would have fucked 700 times a day. She, her, her legs would be broken. My pussy would be out of commission. Yeah. She'd, be banging, <laughs> she'd be banging one of the hyenas. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Not the other one. That one. <laughs> One of them I have about 48 dick pictures of, so. Yeah. How funny, how funny so is, is that? Everybody. How funny is that? Is that I, Chrissy was, <laughs> Joe sent me a dick pic once and it was of Chris's dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I. Represented better. I showed Chris the pic and he goes, that's my dick. I go, no, it's, it's Joe's. He was so fucking mad that it was his dick and I didn't believe him. I kept saying it was Joe's dick. He's like, that's my dick. That's my dick. I'm like, all right, relax. Fucking half a fucking queen. Chill. I got it. It's Joe's dick. Don't be jealous. He, Joe's got a nice piece. We have similar dicks. I think it's a similar. You do not have similar dicks. I'm telling you. Joe I'm showing you my dick. Joe won't let me see Chris's dick. No, because it looks like mine. You don't need to see it. <laughs> no, it, not. it looks like his, but 2.0. You've like seen the, my dick. Hold yeah, on. Your dick is good, but it's the original dick. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Why didn't you guys get your dick? Your thing? dick is like the first iPhone. Chris is like iPhone 11 Max. <laughs> you just asked why we didn't get anything because that already happened on this show. Yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. People loved it, though. What? <laughs> when I showed my dick. You, well, you can show your dick on Patreon, Mike? Uh, no, but Joe was showing his dick last time he was on. He was trying. I yeah. tell you, I would call Joe on the road, and he'd be talking to me for fucking 10 minutes, and then he'd slowly pan down. His cock would have been was out the whole time. <laughs> Just a full rod, too. I don't know how you got a rod talking, listening to my bullshit. You know, dude, the fucking check spot, and then the fucking the waiter doesn't even care. And it's, it's your lips, man. It's solid. You got beautiful lips. That's how. Yeah. So are you guys going to, are you guys okay? Is everything all right with you guys? What do you mean? As a couple? 
No, like this whole pandemic thing. Is this? Is this? Uh, are you guys? Uh, are you guys in it to win it? Are you thinking about other options? What are you doing? I think we're here. I don't know. I mean, like I've been enjoying. I just find that sometimes doing stand up is very time consuming. And so I kind of like doing, I don't mind doing Zoom shows and I like podcasts and I like making videos. And I can I just do watch, that all here and not have to travel. A show where you just walk around the neighborhood and shit on people's houses. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Well, Sarah started a, a two minute film festival, the At Home Film Festival. Bob, you should do one. Yeah. The rest of I, you should. Can I enter my film loan? Yes. Oh my God! Please you, enter loan. You've never, uh, um, Mush. Can you bring up just a couple minutes of loan? It's well, <laughs> under two minutes. It's Buddy, so good. I think it is under two minutes. Well, I can cut it down definitely. Is this one you <laughs> on? You know what, dude? At the hotel. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you Joe, you were on that app. Yeah, don't do that one. Why? <laughs> Stop, something better than that. We want it to be good. What the fuck is loan is good, dude? Let, <laughs> no, I let, liked loan. Let the fucking president of the two minute film festival see a couple minutes. Not the whole thing, just a couple minutes of loan. Yeah. Loan because I was the lone person that enjoyed it. <laughs> First of all, loan was enjoyed by a lot of people. A lot of people. It was I made I made a a film in my room at a hotel. Here we go. Oh, I love it. Wait, get it back. Yeah, there we go. Best part. Oh, you did a description. <laughs> mute, mute everybody so they can enjoy it. thing off. Thank God he muted us. <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear everyone. This is captivating. I like that you gained weight for this role. (laughs) 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 You could edit where it fits in for the festival. Perfect. I think this is great. Yeah, it's more captivating than most of the stuff that we got. The acting is wait, wait, supreme. Wait, wait, this is, wait, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Jim Serpico fucking didn't want to work with me anymore. <laughs> Are you shitting here? No, I'm fucking fantasizing. Oh, I feel like I should be doing voiceovers. Depression hits everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Ask your doctor about Lexapro. (laughs) Oh, he's outside. You're there. That's the painting. That's right, Joe. This is found footage. What happened, Mike? Mike? Oh, shit. All right, go to the end. Go to the end. <laughs> go to the end. Go to the end. Keep scrolling to the end. This is good. <laughs> oh, this is long as shit. Wow. Oh, not that end. Wait, go to the end. All right, there you go. This is oh, two minutes past. Thank you. You see the clock. Yeah. She's an artist. She's a filmmaker. She gets it. I thought when you showed the painting that you were thinking about things you could jump off of. <laughs> no, there you go. All right, boom. Yeah, that would be perfect Beam. for the film festival. Well, it's a little long for the film festival. Well, you can go oh, a little can, over two minutes. I can edit it. I can edit it down. But it's really fun. What's what's the Instagram? Tell them the Instagram. It's just called the Instagram is at home film festival, and then it's on May twenty first is our next showing. That's great. 
That's it's awesome. Fun. Yeah. Some of us made really good films and other people, <laughs> some of them you could tell by watching them that when they got the email with the invite, you could tell that they reacted like this. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Right. Just by the, the way the movie came out, you're like, they didn't want to do this. And then other people, it was awesome. I didn't get an invite. No, you don't, we don't, you don't send a fucking genius round one. You make sure you do a test run to make sure it's okay. What did you so we did a test run. A genius. A, a provocateur. Yeah, you're not. I think, by, I think by my, by loan, um, you can see, Sarah, my desire and my passion for the uh, independent short. Yes, mm. I got that. Yeah, I think yeah. you can do that. You know. Yeah, I like the black and white choice. That was good. Mm. That was very good. French. I, gonna, thank you very much. You look I'm gonna very take, French. I'm going to take loan and I'm going to make it a big budget film. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everything. You know how depressing that would be? <laughs> Blood everywhere. You know how many people would commit suicide during the showing of Lone? <laughs> it would be like that, that fucking J- Japanese forest where people go and kill themselves. <laughs> They'd go into the, a showing of Lone at Angelica and just fucking shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're here. We're staying here. I mean, people started leaving and going to their parents' house and shit. We have a nice home. We built a good home. I like Queens. I like being in New York. Where the fuck are we going to go? Yeah, we, we started getting coffee outside. What does yeah, that we, mean? Go, we go out for coffee. I get my bagel. We go and live are on you, you, what, what do your masks look like? <laughs> it's Sarah's panties. <laughs> Just little <laughs> <big> panties. <laughs> right, well, I'll get you a mask. I'll show you. Yeah, they're just like the standard blue ones. Oh, you I was wearing... Hmm? You haven't done any crazy shit? No. No, you do the thing, the t-shirt. Thing. Oh, I... Uh, I was trying out a hijab. Is that how you pronounce it? Hijab? Hijab. Hijab? Hijab, Mike, yeah. Mike, you know, Mike. What is he, it? Hijab? Hijab. Hijab. You can make one out of a t-shirt. You should make Joe wear that. Here, I'll Joe, show you. Go get the t-shirt. Show him. Look at this thing my wife made. It's really... It's With really your dumb. hair and that mask, you look sickly. How does that stay on your chin? <laughs> it doesn't. It literally doesn't. I'm the only guy that can yawn. Look at it. This is just coming down. I, it made me want to kill myself for the first two weeks. I can yawn my mask off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this terrorist. Throat. Look at this. It's a Patriot shirt, too. <laughs> Go I, yeah, but that's, I mean, Sarah, that's not, not really that. That's, no, wait, like, wait, <laughs> wait. Wait for it. You got to wait for it. All right, let me see if I can do it. Oh no, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there it go. is. Oh, that's, that's good. Great. That's a New England hot. Patriot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Can I, just I like that thing? too. Yo, that's yeah, nice. Get your bangs in the mix. You should have uh you should have uh maybe later tonight. What do you think? Yeah, I'd be into that. Just she because looks like I a, can She looks like a spy. Yeah. You I got bang. cat called in this. I was I went running in this one one day, and some guy came what on. What they say? He asked if he could go running with me. <laughs> what did you I say? Said, I said no. I got to get home before my husband beats me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you no, know, you could bang her while she's wearing that, and you stare at the poster. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad. It has to be anal, too. And then, you know, put a little hey, ball man. bag on her. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Is that a thing? Can you just buy ball bags? What? what do you Like, what? I could sell you a ball bag. Let's see. <laughs> well, they have those, the, the suction cup dildo with the ball bag. They can Why do you need balls on a dildo, though? For reality. Yeah, you want to feel something. That's the worst up. part of reality. <laughs> I, yeah. You need something hitting that fucking seam wrinkle. I put ball bag into Amazon and I just got these. Yeah, my kids got those. You don't want soccer. Those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You could kind of try this. But I think ladies doggy style that ball bag slapping up again is like exciting, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think I mean whether you know it or not. <laughs> That's their favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so good. You Gabby. <laughs> what? You don't like nuts? I don't not like them, but I don't Love like, it's like parsley. You kind of don't need it. And sometimes it's there and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah but cute. I, I, yeah. I know girls that love nuts. 
Who? I'm not going to give you the name, you fucking the rat. Dog. <laughs> Surely. I don't, I don't know what Don <laughs> likes. Don does, Don's never Don's, – I don't think Don's ever touched my nuts. <laughs> she's never, <laughs> she's never a, sucked a nut. I have a thing. Do you guys have this? I've heard someone else have it. My, you know, your ball bag gets tight when you come, when you shoot a load. It gets, like, tight against the body. My ball goes, like, up inside as I'm coming. That's not and after good. After I finish coming, I gotta pull it out with my my middle finger and thumb. That can't and we, be good. Sarah just and I have, both crunch our eye. I go ah. Yeah. Let Sarah kick in the stomach. It pops right back out. <laughs> no, I have to. What I do is I hold my nose and mouth and go. Do it. Do it right now. What? <laughs> oh. No, I can't. My balls are long. When I'm not coming or freezing, my ball bag is nine feet long. If it's Wait, how old are you? Out, I'm 38. Wait till you're 48. I sat on my nuts getting out of the car the other day, and it fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah, I've sat on my nuts. I've sat on my nuts. I've pissed on my nuts sitting down. Um, no wonder why got, Gabby doesn't I, like them. I had to. Uh, I had to untraumatize. I had to untwist my nuts at Bush Garden. <laughs> we were walking so much, it was so hot. My nuts got so, so saggy. It twisted up. I had, to, I had to reach into my pant leg and untwist it like a. <laughs> Can you pull your ball sack back enough, far enough to tuck it into your butthole? Yes. Oh, good question. Sometimes. Try sometimes. that. Try that. That's try. like fun. I probably could. Mine's really long and really red. <laughs> Yeah, mine. Why, are, why is it red? Like a baboon? What is that yeah, noise? Kinda, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Oh, baboon nuts over there. <laughs> I think you should go to the hospital. It looks like they hurt. There's no better <laughs> feeling though than when on a hot day when you slowly peel your ball bag off your leg. It's such a pleasurable, slow peel. Is there any good? Is, I mean, I don't. Women will never know this feeling, but getting into bed late at night. And then just reaching down my pants, having my iPhone in one hand on my Instagram stories and having my, my nuts in my other hand and just, just mushing yeah. them and scratching them and just, just, you know, letting them relax. I give them yeah. a nice nut massage at the end. I of think the when we take our bra off, that might be the similar feeling of relaxation. Mm. Yeah. Really? Your titties? They're so heavy. Yours? <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, you take your I, have, mine. I have bigger tits than Gabby. <laughs> bad for Gabby because she doesn't get the ball peel or the tick in the bra. I got fucking nothing. Yeah, Gabby <laughs> so put a fucking, but Gabby put a cleavage shot on Instagram the other day, and I look, showed my wife. She goes, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> Gabby has a, a super, shot? super sensitive butthole, though. Yes, what? you do. Yes. In Is what it, way? Emotionally um, or just like... Emo it's more emotion-based, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is it like... I, this is something that Calta and I only share with each other, so I'm kind of shocked that he did say Sorry this for bringing that on the up. podcast, but Sorry yeah. It's, did you guys hook uh, up? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mike. He's like, I knew that twat hooked up with Mike. <laughs> Mike, I'll fuck you, Mike. Which oh. bike are you talking to? I'm talking a mush. Mm. Look at him. He looks like a mushroom. <laughs> Sarah, can I ask you a question that we've asked every female that's been on the show in the past month? And this is not, uh, this is just, I know we just met, but if, if someone broke into your apartment and killed Joe and then forced you to have to make sweet love to either me or Bobby, who would you pick? <laughs> No Please be honest. You will not hurt anybody's feelings. We got a good running We're tally going here. But we wouldn't <laughs> fuck you either. Could be her. You're dead. It doesn't matter. She's going to have to say. Now. She's going to have to say Mike because if she says me, I'm. I mean, me and Joe are so close. It's going to fuck Joe up. No, I was going to say saying, Mike, but I also am just like, <laughs> and it's not because I don't want to ruin our friendship. What an interesting <laughs> burglar. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to ruin our friendship? <laughs> I, 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 We're so close. The burglar's just you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take my jewelry. No, fuck one of these fat guys. 
<laughs> you have to decide right now on Zoom. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to hurt my feelings by picking the, him over me. <laughs> I like to call this scratching his I mean, ear. Just for Sarah, a yeah. Sarah, honest to God, who would you pick, me or M- Mike? You'd pick Mike. Why can't yeah. you say my name? Oh, Why, thank you. You would pick Mike over me. I don't know. Well, look at Joe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> talk to Joe. Joe's questions. dead. Joe's Joe, dead. You, Joe, give her yeah. the uh, the give her the pass to make an honest decision, please. Just tell her it's okay. Sure. Well, I mean, look, I'll just okay. I'll fuck you, Bobby. Maybe Can I do both? Thank this you. Is how, <laughs> this is how it goes every time. The girl picks me, and then Bobby guilts them into changing their mind. <laughs> I love it. She said, can I fuck both? Can I do both? <laughs> no, no, basically, no. That is, <laughs> that is a choice. Destroyed. That is a choice. You can, we never give, we never you give can them that it. choice. It's tricky because, you know, Bobby has the lips, you know, very nice lips. I've seen, yeah. But I feel like Bobby's temper is going to be a problem. You know what I mean? If you don't come I'm, fast enough or if you queef, Mike feels like he'd be very accepting. Bobby, I feel like he's going to hit you if you don't come in the right way. Mike, is your kid still in the room? No, no, no. <laughs> no, he left. <laughs> you, that kid has learned know. more about sex since we started this podcast than I ever thought before. You think uh, I would hit? You think I would hit Dawn if she doesn't come correctly? <laughs> the fuck That's is Dude, you didn't fucking reach around. You got to touch my ball. By the way, Mushy Mike could not be enjoying this less. I mean, it looks oh, like he fucking, my, I don't. I don't think he likes any of us anymore. <laughs> no, Michael Totten just said, okay, gals, what sound do you make when you take off your bra? So it was just the, reading the Patreon comments. Um, sound? Don, I fucking wanted a thumb in my butt. I told you three times. Why do I, I have actually, to ask for it every time? You know what I, to do. I did get mad at a girl one time because she didn't know how to bang. This girl, uh, and you she probably, just lay there. Yeah, she, she did. She was on top, and she her movement was so awkward. Her rhythm was so stutter stepped. I went, I went. Just, I, I shook her waist. I go, just move with me. What are you doing? And she yeah. was like. I'm trying. I and I'm like, well, stop. <laughs> wow, where was she doing? from? Is she where's Ukrainian? She Is this her? <laughs> Where'd you go? Just got out of the Israeli army. Did you get your money back? <laughs> it was zesty. <laughs> Will you tell your story and about the? Please avoid cancellation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, my story was I fucked a girl. I fucked a woman. It was at City Steam in Hartford. Yeah. This makes me laugh. And I was probably like 24 at the time. And like, I thought she was old, but she was probably like 36 or something. But she was like divorced. And she came up to me afterwards, was like, come back to my place or whatever. We drank beers. And then she had like a sports car, like a red fucking, I don't know, two-door sportsy thing. Maybe a Porsche, but it probably wasn't a Porsche. And she got on the highway and was playing Buck Cherry and was just flying, like weaving in and out of cars. She was like, and like the wind was flowing. And I was like, this is crazy. And it sounds hot, but it was not for me. And then we got to her house and she put Buck Cherry, you're a crazy bitch, but you fuck so good, you're on top. She put Pete. And she was fucking me, calling me a nerd. She was like, I was like grinding on me. She's like, yeah, you fucking nerd. You like that? And at one point, I warned her. I was like, hey, I take Paxil for my anxiety. But I, I can't really come. <laughs> like, I don't really come very easily. What a like, nerd. <laughs> and she was like, if you don't come, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> and then I couldn't come because I couldn't come anyways. But she said, if you don't come, I'm going to be pissed. So it like, made me extra nerd. So then at one point, she's like, I got to get you off. Like, it was like this thing where she's like, how am I not getting this boy off? <laughs> and she got on her knees and just sucked my dick oh. for like 45 minutes. <laughs> and the whole time, crazy bitch is on. And finally, I had to be like, we got to call her. We can't. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm sorry. No, and okay. whenever you okay. fucking can't hear. Every time you hear crazy bitch, you're not going to be able to come ever again. <laughs> oh, Joe. Fuck, it's cursed. <laughs> she drove me back and she was pissed. It was like silent treatment. Like she was upset. Oh. It was like we were dating. Oh, <laughs> Joe. Back doing like 120 miles an hour. <laughs> That was a beautiful fucking awesome. story. <laughs> oh, God damn it. What a great story. That is that's that is one of those moments where out of tragedy comes fucking light. <laughs> What's I the light? Feeling, 
Genu- the light is that we got to laugh at that <laughs> fucking atrocious story. <laughs> a nice chuckle in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> Be happy. Just thinking of you. Just that song. <laughs> Which I love that song. You fucking nerd. Why was she <laughs> calling you a nerd? You're she, a jock. You're not a nerd. She called me a nerd a bunch. And I do remember feeling genuinely bad. Like, I'm like, this lady's going to be really upset. But I couldn't <laughs> do it. I was like, there's no way. Like, I have trouble <laughs> coming now with no. Was she thrashing her hair about? Oh, yeah. It was Had wild. to have bangs, <laughs> layers. It was wild. <laughs> she what did her apartment was. look like? Uh, I don't remember. I mean, I remember, it wasn't like crazy. It wasn't overly <laughs> memorable. A lot of it wasn't framed like a Nagel pictures. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't nice or insane. It was just kind of not memorable. That's hilarious. But she fucked me like I was, you know, <laughs> Dee Snyder or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, How are you coming now? I can come now, but I'm still. I get. I get stressed. I get anxious. Like it takes me nine minutes to urinate. Sometimes my my brain to dick is disconnected. I get. I feel the pressure. What does it mean? What does it mean when you when you the only way you can come is if your wife is uh, on her stomach with a pillow over the back of her head, (laughs) and you push her butt together so it looks like a guy butt. What does that mean? It means you're cool. Okay. Good. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it gets harder, you know. When you're, you're having sex for years, you have to start getting weird. It's I haven't we we I, we got a bang. I don't know if we're I don't even know what she wants from me. I got to talk to her because I don't. <laughs> I mean, I think she might let me fuck other people. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where we're at right now. I don't know what's going on. Like I like. <laughs> I think she might literally let me get blown by other. I mean, she might be like, "Just go. I don't care." We're, don't tell me gonna, about it. We're, we're going to be together. We're not leaving each other at least until he's 18. We're going to be together forever, but do what you want to do. But, you know, but the, the, the problem is, is that I don't want her to do what she wants to do. I don't want to come home and see some plumber walking out. Hey, Bob, what's up? I don't want to see that. <laughs> what you about I mean? my theory? If you come down here and then eventually we wife swap. Yeah, but wife swapping with us, it's the same wife. Like if your wife looked like Sarah, that'd be a different thing. Thank you. Sarah's a blonde. She's a little hipstery. You know what I mean? She's got a square jaw like a young boy. I mean. <laughs> yes. This just went on for like 10 minutes. <laughs> He's like, she's got nice tits. Good ass. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, dude. If we wife swap, it's the same girl. Don't you think? No, absolutely not. Well, apparently you fucking. Well, yeah. all right. I, I think they're way different. Wow. <laughs> pull, mush pull up uh, can you pull up pictures yeah hey, you yeah, pull up side by side i'll pull up my wife all right. i don't know how to do it i'll pull up my wife all right i way to the danger zone i just think the problem with us swapping is it's a lose-lose for them yeah, yeah it's a lose-lose for them now Right, hold on. How do I share the screen? Hold on. Wife. That's what you want to do. You want to follow up a banger of a story with some real silence. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite photo ever is Max. She's hot. Oh, yeah. It's a good looking dame. All work? right. Okay. You ready? That was mine. It worked. Yeah, yours worked. Okay. Yeah, we're looking at you looking. What year is that? Uh, that was last year. Oh, Gabby, that was passive aggressive. Was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? Eighty-eight, eighty-nine. <laughs> she looks okay. so good in her twenties. <laughs> How old do you think she is? My wife, Gabby. Forty-two. Boom! Nailed it. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> oh wow! That's me. <laughs> 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 Whenever I want to see a picture from Bobby, it's always the picture of him sitting on the couch with his nuts hanging out of his shorts. <laughs> uh, you want to see my wifey wife? Wow, I don't have any fucking pictures this broad. I know. I find your wife to be attractive with the headbands and the whole thing. She's gorgeous. Oh, I got, her, I got her. I got her. I got her. I got her. Here we go. Oh, fucking Christ. I feel like if I was with your wife, she would tell me the things she doesn't like about you sexually as we were doing it. I hope Bobby puts Christie's dick up on the screen <laughs> with a wig on it. With a headband on it. 
Oh, Gabby's got the hair down. All right, here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Where the fuck is this broad? Just call her over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you don't like your wife, no, do you? We're in quarantine. <laughs> yeah. I got, oh, oh. Uh, all right. Here she is. I got no pictures of this broad. Not a good sign. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How about a drawing? Has Max drawn her at school? <laughs> yeah. What if you just described her really well? Because that might take. Right back. I immediately went to my Facebook and in two seconds just pulled up the first picture I saw. I uh, feel like they're searching for my wife. Shots. My wife doesn't like to be on um, on the uh, on the on bottom. The... <laughs> <laughs> There's. She... It's on, a little let's... blurry, but hang on. See Matt. Oh, that's there nice. she is. Yeah, that's a great that's picture. Cool. Okay, yeah. in. I'm in. It's the same girl. Yeah, they're Not pretty the close. They Buddy, are. You're out of your mind, Mike. It's the same girl. There's no difference. It's a brunette. It's a it's a five four brunette. Oh, Maybe they have different five. fashion. <laughs> they don't. They dress the same. They have these pocketbooks, the same shit. They cook the same. Pocketbooks. Meals. They married the same fat guy. They both it's like the in the butt. Not no, I've never been near oh. her. Oh, <laughs> Your my girl bad. Likes it, she, she likes it in the butt. I can't wow. Huh? I'm not talking about this anymore. Why? You brought it up. You brought I was it joking. up. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like. I would never put something in my wife's butt. Oh come on. Never. What if she was like Bobby? Maybe that's why she's mad at you because you won't put it in her butt. Yeah, that's yeah. why she's mad. She's. What she's, about a finger? First, uh, all right. Listen, slut. I, uh, <laughs> if you were, if you she were said making that like sweet a millennial love, too, what about a finger? <laughs> if you were making sweet love to your wife in the style yes. of dogs, yes. and she turned around to you, the style say, of dogs, Bobby, yes. Bobby, put it in my butt. You'd say no. If she was like, first of all, if she went Bobby, I go, why are you talking like an idiot? Whatever accent she has. Hey, kid, put it in my butt. Yeah, that? yeah, that's great. I, I wanted to sound like a guy from Dorchester. <laughs> hey, hey, fucking kid, stick it in my rump. Uh, <laughs> rump. Uh, I, I, uh, if my, if in the middle of the thing she went like, if she literally would have to like reach from behind and open up her butt and go, put it, put it in there. And, and it'd have to be subtle, but like she'd have to give a head nod. Like, how is reaching back and opening her butt subtle? <laughs> Why don't you yeah. mind your business, you fucking <laughs> subtle is me. Yeah, like, boy. I, all, I, all I'd need to hear her say is, You're crushing my foot. And I'd go, Did you say put it in your butt? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't really like it in the butt. I used to like it in the butt. You know, in your butt? No, I knew you were going to go down that road. Oh, you, that's what you said. I used to like it in the butt. All right, I'll be more. I just don't understand how it's better than a vagina. It's not better. It's not better. I feel like it's tight, and then once you get through, then it's all air up in here. It's not better. Because it's a guy. What do you mean? It's just open fields. Sarah has a secret compartment in her asshole. (laughs) (laughs) No air in your asshole. (laughs) (laughs) A mule before this? They have their whole savings in gold coins because Louis said get gold, and that's where they keep them. (laughs) <laughs> I told you one time I had uh, anal and I pulled it out and there was like a seed on my dick. It was like a little <laughs> butt seed. Oh. And I just flicked it and it hit the wall and slid <laughs> down the wall. You saved that person from diverticulitis. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a little nutshell and I just went and it hit the wall. She was like, oh, that's gross. She said it was gross. You should have been like, you're the one eating too many fucking cucumbers. Uh, uh, that you, she was, she's a fucking acai vegan asshole. <laughs> uh, you guys have never done it in the butt? No. Yes, they have. She just said she knows the inner workings <laughs> of her asshole. She that's, knows that it's tight yeah. and then it, gets, then it becomes a field. <laughs> that's how you know she hasn't had anal. She thinks it's just a rim and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she'd work for the FBI. She's emotionless when you say things to her. She just stares at you. <laughs> Look at Joe and tell him you want to try it tonight. No. no. You don't have to do that. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Too Gabby. old, it'll break her. Yeah. It's all dry down there. It'll just crumble. 
Yeah, it has, crow, it has crow's feet. <laughs> <laughs> I found out that some girls have to shave that area. What? Some girls yeah. have to yeah. shave that area. Like My asshole looks like, remember when we got Saddam Hussein and he'd been in the like hole for a while? <laughs> Everywhere, that's what my asshole looks like. <laughs> Let's see. No, yours is like, fine. Yours, your asshole looks like they like a peanut butter stamp. Like somebody took a stamp and put it in peanut butter and then jammed it on the back. <laughs> Both of you go off the camera and then show one of your buttholes and let us guess. And who we it have is. to guess. <laughs> <laughs> I got pimples all over my ass. I got like oh. rosacea. It's all why. Like, what are you? What it's the just fuck? doughy and mushy. It's gross. Stop sitting down so much. Get up and air out your asshole. I run five miles a day over here. I, I it's just I got bad butt skin. Joe is like trying to drive chicks away from him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got my I got my lady. Right, and you're trying to scare all the other. He's a nerd with a rosacea asshole. Yeah, but Joe's not problems. a nerd. Joe is no. not, Joe looks like a nerd. Joe is a fucking sports hound. Joe is like one of the biggest jocks I know. Thank but you. He, yeah, I'm more of an alpha, really. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> Joe, he's fucking, maybe getting carried away. I'm trying to back yeah. you up there, but you're not a fucking alpha. You don't even know <laughs> mega. You don't even in a pack. <laughs> you're you're another species. You're a bird. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> you're MMA dog, dude. You're a lone. You're you're a lone sparrow in a tree. Listen, <laughs> romantic. <clears throat> what did you just say? Thanks. Gabby, what? what did you just say? I said it's romantic. Oh. Oh, okay. thank you. <laughs> Gabby, I fucking... God damn it. I wish I... What? <laughs> Keep going. Even yeah. in the corona, I feel like Gabby's butthole is pristine right now. Thank you. Gabby's okay. butthole is... Like porcelain. I, I bet Gary, because she's a vegan... It's always green. It has like a, it glows in the dark. Gary looks, oh, like like looks like a bar of soap. Like you're just like, you've never been touched. You're just clean and nice. Like you're like a dove bar out of the box. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. And she goes, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Typical you millennial answer. Gabby. Thanks. Thanks. That's a compliment. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment too. <laughs> Put that fucking witch finger down. Stop cursing people. Uh-oh. What happened? Maxie? No, it's Dawn. She was listening. She's like, I totally Maxie, fucking swap. Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. Come here. Uh oh. Say hi. oh hey. Uh <laughs> Mom said she's in. Say hi. Hey. How you doing? What are you doing out here? How what, did you tell your mother that you're coming out here? Yeah, I told her. What did she say no? No. She said yes. But, uh, can you please <laughs> Can I please what? Can you please shush? Me? I'm on a, I'm doing my show. Just shush. Everybody go to Pressons.com. Not try to be happy. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're being. Oh, I know. I know Preston. You doing Preston? Yeah. I right, say goodbye. Hey, give him a chokehold. Choke him out. Ch ch choke. No. Choke you him out. Give him a little rear naked. No. Yeah, there no. it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> tap dog. You better this is tap. Like when, like when Leia <laughs> killed Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> I banned Jabba on Roblox. No. You got to get it tight. And it did make a very good game. And then Sarah? get it at the back of the hand back here. <laughs> I do pinchers. Oh. <laughs> Even in the chokehold, Sarah pinchers. had the same look on her face. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Come here. Give me a kiss. Goodbye. No, I'm you. not going. I love you. I'm holding glasses. All right, now I can't see. Max, one, it's two, hard. three. Angle. Oh, uh, it's Bobby. It's, yeah. it's little Bobby. All right, give him back. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, take no. the. Yeah, go play with this knife. Oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, <laughs> Dawn, put that away. No, no, no. no. Max. No. Max. Yeah, he play, me yeah, play with this lighter instead. <laughs> Get out of here. Give me that. That's better. Need it. Better option. As Bobby's head gets skinnier, his eyebrows now appropriately fit over his eyes. That's so true. Look, right? Who's your wife? Before, yeah. like he had little Hitler mustaches on his forehead. Yeah, now, now it makes sense. And now his head shrinking and his eyebrows are in the right position over his eyes. Look at him. All right. Well, listen, guys. We got to wrap <laughs> this up. Um, I, I, he's not, he's just not happening. He's not, it's just, not, it's just, this is, this is the, remember at the beginning of the show, Joe, when I was like, you guys look happy. It's you too. It's, you know, it's, it, you can just do what you want when you want. 
Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it looks like that fucking Chris Farley sketch with Giuliani. <laughs> 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 your hair looks amazing, Max. Put it on your dad's head. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if Bobby chokes out? He's tapping oh, right now and nobody's there to see it. Uh, what'd you do? Oh, I just right, your video. Uh, right, you we, gotta go. we got another pod to do. Uh, yeah, we got to go. Listen, guys, wrap this up. I want to say, Max, right, you, Mike, can you wrap it up? Yeah, thank you. Uh, you should have wrapped it up. Sarah. This was a lot of fun. Super fun. Yeah, it was great. Fun. Great to see you. Thanks for introducing us to gay French pictures. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah, Giving a plug. Giving us a solid, clear view of what we think your butthole looks like. Thank you. Keep it going, You're Max. Welcome. Grind it. Mush, yeah, I want to. I want to plug my podcast, <clears throat> Mindful Metal Jacket. It's on this no, network. I'm trying to get rich here. Okay. When is it on? This. Listen, Shut let's it, go kid, talk. We're podcasting. <laughs> when is it on? Don! What is it on? It's a podcast. Oh, all right. You go Wait, 85? I like this thing. What, what, what day does it come out, though? It comes out Thursday, to, uh, Thursday at noon. And we got some great episodes. We'll, we'll have you guys on at some point, some of you maybe. Uh, and the Two Minute Film Festival, when is that? That's May 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern Time or 6 p.m. Pacific. And then I'll put the link on my Instagram at Stalamash. Great. That's a great idea. Thank you. And then Thursday on the show, uh, on our show, Matt Iceman from American Ninja Warrior is going to be on. Yeah. Saturday, we got another jerk-off party happening. Yeah, we got Joe <laughs> Joe Russell's coming on. I think we do uh, uh, a costume party Saturday night. All right. I'm in. You guys, J- Joe wow. and Sarah, you want to come in? When? We have Saturday costumes. Night. We're going to do a custom it. Zoom party. We let all the fans in. Everybody's going to dress up. What do you think, Mike? I'm in. I think it's great. I'd like to. I got this dumb show I got to host. Not dumb. A cool show called Coast to Coast Roast for Helium Comedy Club. Okay. So you're going to roast people? Wasn't that so, no, it, that's so the, 2000? The cities roast each other. It's like 48 cities. And when are we going to be done with fucking roasting? We're just, I'm just hosting it. So what are you going to do? Are you going to make fun of what city? I don't know. They're all the cities. Um, well, let's talk about it privately. But it's 48 cities, 24 teams or something like that. And uh, we, Mark and Norman and I just host it. But then there's two representatives from each city. So the cities. Is Jeff, <laughs> Ross, is Jeff Ross involved? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Any I'm day. Sure, I'm sure he's Any coming. Any day. Though. I'm sure he's Any coming. Day he'll um, come in. No. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about it. It's Helium Comedy Club's putting it on. You can go get your tickets on there. And it's this weekend, next weekend, and the weekend after. And uh, Mark and I are hosting. There's a bunch of great comics doing it. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you you tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. And and, Mom, yeah, don't hang up, Mike. Um, Uh Uh-oh. Someone's in trouble. No, you guys can hang up. We're just going to. Thank God. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, buddy. Take care. That was. Sarah and Joe. That was so fun. Plan. They're great, right? They're right? fun. Yeah, they're really cool. Sarah, they're so funny. They're so funny. You look like Princess Leia with those stupid things on your ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, very fun. That was a great show. I, You know, last night and tonight, fucking great shows, Mike. What's a common denominator? Me. I think it's, it's a... Huh? Yeah, my eyes were burning so hard. I had a blink. My eyes were burning so hard. I think the common denominator is me and you. Agreed. I think that this is, uh, you know, Jared called me up last night. He's like, dude, that was fucking awesome. How many times has Jared done my show? How many times has he done the podcast? A ton. Fucking great. Unbelievable. Right, yeah, Mike? Getting, we had a good time. He was, he was funny. Yeah, fucking show is great, man. Another great show. Another great episode. Uh, what do we have uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday? Tomorrow's Wednesday. I believe uh, Rich Voss is trying to get on. All right. Um, who else? I do want to have Rich on because I got an email today from, um, and maybe you can help me out with this. I got an email today from um, New Jersey Firearm Background Investigation. Okay. About Mr. Rich Voss. 
<laughs> like, is he trying to buy a gun? He's trying to get a gun, and they they contacted me. Oh my god, this is amazing! As a they witness, contacted me, and I had to answer a bunch of questions, and I would like to go over these questions that I answered. That's a great idea. Um, with him because I some of these I I, I you know. Before I answer these, I gotta go over it because he, I was, I should say yes to a lot of these, not no. I know he wants me to go no, 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 no. But a lot of these, I might be lying and going to hell if I say yes to. So, what do you think? I think we do it in front of them, and I will tell you which ones you should submit and which ones you shouldn't. Awesome. So tomorrow night we'll get Rich Voss on. Mike made it. Make a note. How you feeling, Mush? I'm all right. What's your background? Uh, Bobby's Bobby. father. Mm. Sato. <laughs> I am Bobby. <laughs> How are you doing today, Michael? Me? Yes. I'm wonderful. You know why? Yeah, why? I took a nap today. <sighs> now, they're precious. Well, right. I don't really like to take them because they're right. I have shit to do, but I've just been that grumpy fuck the last two days because I haven't gotten much sleep. So I took a nap. And now I then I took a shower before I did the show, and now I feel fantastic. Hang on, you know, Rich. Is, imagine uh, Gabby's butthole for about thirty seconds. Made my whole night. You're welcome, I, and that's why I'm here. And and that's why you are here. Rich Foss is Lily. Bl- Hello. Hello, Rich. What's going on? Yeah, we're we're live on the show right now. Oh, you are? Well, yeah. you put me through on Zoom. Well, we're, we're, we were having a good show. The show's, <laughs> the show's over. So we we want to have you on tomorrow night because I, I got another message from the Jersey Firearms Department. And I, I'm, having a hard, I'm having a hard time answering these questions and being, tru- <laughs> and being truthful. Well, you got to be. I mean, no, you don't have to be. So what, you got to do it. First of all, don't do this ever on speakerphone. Why? We're on speakerphone. You're on the show. No, but I mean, I don't want my wife to know I'm doing this because she'll leave me. Too late. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, listen. What? Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Are you available? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me look at my calendar. You know what? I'm available, available tomorrow through November. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tomorrow night, everybody. I'll I'll call you in a little bit, Voss. Tomorrow night, uh, Rich Voss will be on. We're gonna go over some of these questionnaires, and my camera looks fucking amazing. It looks amazing, I Bobby. Mean, but- what if we have? What if while we put Rich on, Mush calls Bonnie? <laughs> Well, I don't know, Bonnie. Bonnie doesn't really play those fun games. Like if Sarah would go along with that and have a good, Bonnie would might fucking flip out. Oh, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Bonnie has a kid. And yeah, uh, I don't. I don't think they would. Uh, yeah, but what if we don't play a game? What if we go? Hey, you should hear this. Rich, Rich is talking about doing something. You should know about. Yeah, this is for you. This well, is for I your. Mean, I think the fans would actually do that for us. All right. I mean, they're connected socially, right, fans? <laughs> so if they, like, we, God forbid they would copy the video and then send it to her through social media? Yeah, well, we God forbid, no, God forbid during the show, they, they go to her Twitter or something and say, Rich is saying stuff about this and that, and then she comes down, you know, and says, what the fuck's going on? I mean, that would be crazy. Hey, Mike, I don't know if you were keeping the tally, but Sarah did pick me before Bobby had guilted her out of it. Uh, Mike, I, I don't know if you can... She I didn't even you hesitate. Did. She didn't even go, oh, she was like, Mike. Yeah, but she, she, but then she went, Bobby. Because you fucking gilded her for 10 Gabby, minutes. Gabby, uh, Gabby. What? What? Gabby. Yes. Uh, can you please make a call? No. Yeah. Who, uh, not, oh, not a, your phone, not a, you not fucking not. dummy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I asked Sarah. If her life depended on it and the guy killed Joe and she yes. was to make sure he loved one of us, what did she say? She said you first and then she went to Bobby and Why? then she said, fine, I'll fuck both of you. All right. Because no, she who, didn't- who, who, do you, who, who is she going to pick? I think he's saying it's guilt. I think she didn't want to pick me because I'm one of Joe's good friends. I don't yeah, think she wants to ruin your friendship. Yes. and, and well, You're I not going to have a relationship. There's a man that's going to kill her. I think she, right. she picked Mike because he is sexier. neutral. He's not sexier. He's neutral. Maybe she likes the danger of a stranger. Gabby, the danger who's of a stranger. That Gabby, rhyme. who's sexier between the two of us? That's, I cannot answer that question legally. Because we're both sexy? 
Yes. Good answer. All right. Listen, tomorrow night going to be a great night. Wednesday is going to be awesome. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think we're going to do this party, right? Yeah. You think so, right? I might uh, invite people over on Saturday. You should have a party in your room. I'm going to invite people over too to be in the room in the back. Well, I was just going to say, maybe I'll have Cammy come over here. And then I realized I was married. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever forget it's your wife? You ever be watching like a, like a sex thing and the chick gets up and like, oh, I'd fucking eat that ass. And you look over, you're like, hey, what's up? She's like, <laughs> <laughs> I said it to my wife all the time. I've she, done that. She, and she always goes, gross. Yeah, gross. Um, if I'm right. driving in the car and I get a nude picture, I'll look at it and I'll go, wow, and I'll show it to her and she'll look and she'll be like, that's nice. I got I to gotta read the uh, list of names. Mike, you sent it, right? I can't hear you. It's in the email from the YKWD. I'm sorry. It's in the e email from to, YK. Uh, uh, I sent it from the YKW dude email to your Robert Kelly Live email. Robert, uh, Robert Kelly Live Gmail. You read them. I'll lip sync the names. Yes. Okay, here we go. Michael, are you ready? Mushy, ready. are you ready? Gabby, are you ready? Yes. Now, I should start from the top, Mike? Yes, sir. Patreon people, I want to thank you. Mike wants to thank you. Everybody wants to thank you for being a part of this thing that we're doing. It's been amazing so far, and we want to read your names so here we go. Travis Simmons, Carrie Tonsky, Christine Wiswall, Kenny Hanahan, Matt Baldwin, Angela Kelly, Joe Cassio, Kevin Perry. I question William whether or not Tate, you could read. Jeremy, like, this Jeremy is the part where I'm like, I, I, I feel like I need to call someone. Yeah. Peter Vatiatio, Sean Marsiglia, Edward Bullock, Asheville is too woke. <laughs> <laughs> Manicubus, Mancubus, Incubus, Mancubus, Douglas Haim, Thomas Marshall, Flav, Sammy Mo Mahoney, Luke Salazar, Cassie Branch, Jeff Rapper, Kristen, Ken Stewart, Thomas Cox, Dennis Price, Lou, Lou, Lou. John Daly, Drew Wenning, Esteban Ventura, Ooh. Matthews Collin, Ashley Sweeney, Dama Marajaji, Ed Wiggle, Dustin Linder, Ed Matthews, Ajay Kalapali, David Himner, Gio Gavin, Sophie, Nick, Lena Hard, Steve Kish, Tanya Yamanano, Scott, Schlossman, Brian Ratchkudma, Rich Osborne, Victor Sanchez, Josh Carr, Kate Campanana, John Summers, JB Addy. <laughs> You're not okay. You're not okay. Shelly Tarhune, Randall, Jonathan A. Brook, Curtis Blackmon, Ryan Ledford, Matt Walden, D. Johnny Farmayani. <laughs> I actually, heard, actually not his fault. I actually heard my producer's name in there, and you fucked that up too. <laughs> Robert Hoggard, Everett James, Daryl A. Durkee, Brian D. Watkins, Eric Hall, Christopher Gamore, Corey Walker, Marcos Galvin, Kara Jones, James Altroskowski, Tommy, Derek Kusan, Jonathan Reshlings, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Cop, Jackson Shapiro, Donald Land, PG, Polly G, Paul Casaletto, Toad the Trucker, Just the Tip, Aaron, Diego Flores, Pete Lejeunier, Justin Firms, Daniel Greco. Am I reading into that? You get tall. I tall. Sorry, tall. Uh, do as Harness. many as you can. <laughs> Brandon Harness, Duncan Murphy, Ryan D, Travis Leeper, Jonathan Pledger, Carolyn Weircher, Stephen J. Weir, Tommy Anderson, Ryan Ayahu, Ayahu, Lisa Stewart, Colton Bryan, Chris, Mike Merchant, my Mike brother, Perry, Jenny Anthony, R, Matt Marty, Leanne Thomas, Bart Comics, Colleen Dixon, Martha, Beth Barry, Judas. I already read that one, didn't I? No. 
Okay. Rebecca Garrett Vita, Skylar Evans, Brandy Quinn, Frank Latotitis. Mary Mohayanahan. Matt Taylor, Jeff Fay, Stephen Jack, Stephen Jack, Brian Hannon, Sean Akum, Brian T.M. Brian, Jason <laughs> Donaldson, Albert Davison, Justin Miller, Zach DeMello, Ian Greer, and Crumbum. Crumbum! <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the channel. Uh, welcome to be a part of it. Check out uh, Calter and Kelly. Uh, there were some people having problems with the uh, just uh, the live from the shed. I don't know if we fixed those. Did you, can you look into some of those things, Mike? I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and why is your mic gold, Gabby? Because I, I bought a gold one. <laughs> there were two options, and I said gold. Yo, you got the mini, right? Mm-hmm. I got the blue one. You like it? It's blue. Let me hear you again. Hello. Hi. Hi. Does she Welcome to NPR. Does she sound better Hello. than me? Hello. Hello. Mike, does oh. she sound better than me? Welcome to NPR. I can't NPR. Why Today I we're talking about... Yes. The pandemic. <laughs> That's really good. That's good, right? Uh, yeah, do it again. Do it again. Do, say it again. Hi. Welcome to NPR. Today we are talking about the pandemic. Coronavirus. <laughs> Is it ruining your life? You could be the new Siri. Hey, can you That's good. A, can Hire me voiceover. What? Can you do an ad for uh, Calter and Kelly right now? Yeah. I'll make it hot. Okay. Uh, well, hot or NPR? It's two different NPR, things. NPR, NPR. Okay, NPR. okay. I mean, I thought NPR was kind of hot. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome to Calter and Kelly, a show about everything. Do you want to see two really fat guys in two different parts of the country who have guns and knives talk about things that you don't really care about? Welcome to Calta and Kelly. Only $5 a month on patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. For all... <laughs> I gotta tell you, that was perfect. That was pretty good. Mike, okay. isolate that, tag it. Mike, what are you fucking playing? Tetris, what are you doing? Uh, oh, no, Liz was asking me something. Fuck Liz. You're producing this show. Fuck that show. Wow. Mike, was... am, I out, am I out of line? No, I like it. Okay, good. Thanks. That How was you? really good. And Thank you. Um, yeah, I like it. It was insulting, and I still liked it. This Saturday night, Mike, you have to be on our show. You can't be doing their show. It's because your show goes past their show. Mm. No, fuck their show. <laughs> It, you hit yes on their show and then leave and come back to our show. I know. I have to get it started. That's the, that's the problem. Start this show and then leave it and then come back. Can I plug was, something? Yeah, you can plug whatever you want. Hopefully it's your bra. <laughs> As you have small tits. A plug? <laughs> Mike, what is that face? I've never noticed. Oh, my God. You are such a fucking. Cult is on my side always. I don't know if you I ever know. I've, He's I've, always I've, on my side. I know. I've noticed that. I love it. I love it. I okay, like so every Thursday, we that? are best friends. Every yeah, Thursday, wait, I go stop, in. Stop. You're not best friends. He's got one best friend. But she might be my that. best girlfriend. Yeah, that's two different things. What about I'm your, your wife? best girlfriend? That's different. Mike, let me tell you something right now. Mike, if, if she comes between us. <sighs> Oh, I've always, right. always wanted to come between someone. She Mike. brings a lot to the table. What? She's flat chested. She's got a flat ass. I have small boobs, but they're really nice. And you always you have, know that. And, I'm not and, a boob guy. I'm a face guy. <laughs> I, have a perf- I have a perfect face and a really nice butt yeah, and small but really nice boobs. For and I have a six from pack. Denmark. I have a, okay, that's true. And those are so, so beloved around the world, okay? That's true. That's true. <laughs> they are Probably got a great I a, butt. I have a great what butt. I have a have perfect great, personality. What do you mean what? you have great boobs? I have perfect small boobs. What like, I bet you she looks great in nothing but little boy shorts. I, that's exactly what it is. That's how I always picture you. Yeah, I, mean, I have the perfect I, fit body, I, I, I believe. I don't want to talk about you, but this is like talking about my daughter. You bring it up every time. Mike brings it up. Not me. Every Thursday at 8 the p.m., I go live from the Stan's Instagram. That's at the Stan NYC for my quarantine show. 8 p.m. every Thursday night on Instagram at the Stan NYC. Bobby pops in sometimes and roasts me, which I love. And that's um, this Thursday. So be there or be a fucking square. And then Saturday I also night. Do you want to be in our, our uh, 
Yes. Come in. Sure. I'll come on whenever you want. Will you just wear the boy shorts? Uh, no. You can wear a tank top, too. It's mm. costume night. I have a big Jufro wig. I'll wear that. Does that what? work? Is it a wig? A lot of costumes. Yeah, that went over a couple minutes. <laughs> I, have a, <laughs> I have a lot of costumes. We're going to hook up with Cammie. She'll tell you what to wear. All right, listen. Um, and I have a wrap- podcast called Unabashed Podcast. Yes. And a Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash unabashed. A Is that you and the other guy? Yeah. What do you mean you know, the other guy? The guy. I don't like the way he licks his cigarettes. Oh, yes. That's my gay best friend, Zach Senor. He's too gay. He's gay? No, he's the perfect I'm, amount I'm, of gay. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen, we got to wrap this up. I got to go fucking my kids in the backyard running around. You got to um, put commas in what you say. You just say, I got to fuck them <laughs> you, in the backyard. All right. Listen, Gabby, Mike, what do you have? Mike Mush? At Mike V. Suarez on Instagram. And I got this. I got you, babe. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I don't know. How does it go, Mike? I got you, babe. Um, I, I turned on my mic. I looked at your eyes, and it was no surprise. I got you, babe. You are short, and you got nice lips. Gabby's pretty. She's got no tits. I got oh, you, babe. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> this is what we knew. This is what we need to do on Saturday: play song roulette. One person starts, and then we go around through the boxes, and you got to get it right. Saturday That's good. Do that. Let's do that Saturday night. Uh, we're going to switch it up this Saturday night too. We're going to let everybody uh, in at the end and jerk off. We're going to bring people in at um, at the beginning. We're going to bring certain people in. Correct, Mush. Correct. Because last week is a little crazy, so we're going to do. A bunch of uh, different stuff. Why are all the knives coming out? I think Mush has clipophile syndrome. Oh, has a what? Clipophile. What's that mean? Like Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance where his head's sinking into his shoulders. <laughs> you guys have to watch Forged in Fire so we could talk about it. Is that a knife show? Kalta, yep. you would love it. It's a competition show and they compete to make, they're all blacksmiths to make the best knives or weapons. What, what, is, what channel is this on? I National would love Geographic. This. All right, I'm on. I'll look it up tonight. Gabby, we, but what about the other show I got to watch? What one? He's not going to like Forged in Fire. No, I, I like I, it. I, you it's like so it. It's so good. He's not going to like it. I'm going to like it. He's not going to like it. He's not going to like it. I'm going to like it, and we'll, I'll text you while I'm watching it. Okay. He's not going to like it. I guarantee it. But anyways, It's watch my whole it. life. I got to watch uh, 90 Day Before. 90, 90 Day, day before. before the 90 Days. Before the 90 Days. I got to watch that tonight. Gabby, right, you're listen. not watching that either? I'm, what is that? 90 day fiance before the 90 days. I don't care. Do, uh, I, you say that now. I said the same thing. <laughs> I said the best show on television. Best show on television. Oh, Jesus. Christ. You're going to I have never seen the Kardashians. I don't like, I, I hate Dr. Phil. I don't know any of this shit. 90 day fiance before the 90 days. Best show on television. Okay. Watch Forge and Fire and then we'll talk. All right. Done. Tomorrow night, seven o'clock. Mush, Mike, Gab. You know what, dude? See you next time. Listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.